What's up, you guys? So, we heard about this really cool thing called story time on YouTube. It's all the rage. And we were like, we be telling stories. We got stories to tell. Y'all want to hear it. Here it goes. You got this? Here is the story of how I met Ray. Okay, I'll take over from here. <laughs> so, Ready? when she first met me, no. How did I find out about you? First of all, she needed a hair. She moved to hair to, to LA mm -hmm. and she needed a hairstylist. I was doing a show called X Factor, but I was the pre-show host for the Pepsi pre-show for X Factor. The season that um, Fifth Harmony got together. Yes, Normani, Ali, uh, Camila Cabello, cool major moments. Oh my God. Okay, so. We, were, we met then, one of my friends told her, oh my God, I had this amazing hairstyle. Ravon, who you guys know very well because she's been on here for a bathing suit for your body type and she also was here for a girl's night in. And we love her. We love Ravon and I pretty much told Ravon, Ravon, I need a hairstylist in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. I don't have anyone here. At the time I was using Caesar in love New Caesar. York. We yes. love Caesar. And so she's like, I got the perfect guy for you. His name is Ray, he's amazing and I was like, okay, well, great. Well, I need him to come over to my house and do my hair. At the time, I had an apartment. Downtown. <laughs> Downtown LA. We used to call it. It was like. What was the name? We used to say that it was. Um, it, it was like. Uh, no, there was a word we had. Hold on. It was um, the Witness Protection there Program. There you go. Yes, the Witness. We <laughs> called it the Witness Protection Building. It was the most random building in downtown LA. And I was in the Witness Protection Program. And Ray needed to come and fix my hair. Yes. So he comes to the building. Oh, we come together. You did? Me and okay. Ravon come together. And we show up, Adrian's outside, it's so funny. She was outside getting food. She delivers, gets food delivered all, all day, right? So, we're there, we pull up, she comes to the car, she's like, oh my God, hi, I'm Adrian. I'm like, hi, I'm Ray. She leans over and tells Ravon, and I think it's the funniest thing, because I don't think she heard, she, she realized that I heard her. She was like, don't leave. I'm stay like, with me. Stay with me. Because, okay, I don't know if it was just my, like, I just didn't want to be alone with a man. Like, yeah. up, like, I don't know him. It's nighttime. Then Ravon comes upstairs to make sure that I get comfortable, that it's not, like, super awkward. So he comes upstairs. Two minutes in. He starts doing my hair. <laughs> and two minutes into us hanging out, what did I say? Girl, you can go home. We're going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to be totally okay. I was like, oh, he's harmless. Wait. All is well. Am, am I? Harmless? Really? No, let me see. If I, okay, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> you think if I'm you harmless? never met Ray before and he was gonna come upstairs to your witness protection program apartment and do your hair at like 10 o'clock at night, would you be more comfortable if someone you did know was there? Yes or no? Comment below. That rhymes. Yes or no? Comment, comment below. below. Well, if they're doing your. Oh, uh, well, I guess you're right. That's just awkward. You, you were new to LA and it was like her, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's not necessarily that I thought my life would be in danger, but I just felt more comfortable if Ravon was there. Truth be told, I was actually more nervous than she was. Really? Yes. Oh my God, why? <laughs> um, You know when you meet someone that you've seen on TV and you're like, oh my God, I love her. You okay, love so me? 3OW came out and I was like, oh my God, the Mexican one? I'll take it. Give you a Mexico. I think she is. Okay. Every, I, I live for her hair, like her little body. Her stomach was always out. It should not have been out. Yeah. What girl? You had washboard abs. She was popping. Now you have washboard abs, but they're like you know. They're in the in the fridge. It's like it's like I have a six pack that's inside the cooler. Yes, they're still there. See, I, I'm an honest friend. He is a very <laughs> honest friend, and that's why I love him. Literally, I tell people why I keep Ray around is because if I'm doing a photo shoot, Ray is the only one that'll be like, make eye contact with me and be like, suck in, suck in. You're not gonna like that picture. Chin. If you ever hear me yell, PT, it's pregnant tummy. Not that you're pregnant, but we, think, but we look at it and see. Bring it in. So Ray did my hair. My hair was super blonde at the time, right? Yes. It was like golden blonde. And he was doing middle part, or was it side it part? Was Oh my God. Because I know you're going to say. The first time was a middle part. Okay. So I did her hair two days in a row. Yeah. So that first day is the day she's talking about. It was my first time touching her hair. I did these hideous, hideous, I mean hideous curls. Oh my God. And what was, was like, hideous about them? Do tell. They were so like, 
First of all, I haven't curled with a curling iron since I learned how to curl with a flat iron. So to me now, I looking back, it's these were but the most But in the moment, terrible did you think curls. it was terrible? I thought they were terrible. When you did it? When I did it. Now the Guys, second I thought day, he did a good day. I thought he did a good job. The second day? You killed that. I loved it. You loved it. I loved it the second day. It, it was, was your my birthday. birthday. <laughs> it was my, oh my gosh. I remember that. You wore a white dress. It was Herbe Leger. Yes, it, it black and white. Black and white, yep. A black and white Hervé Leger dress. Mm -hmm. I wore red lipstick earrings and my hair was parted to the side in really sexy old Hollywood yeah, curls. curls. But it was beautiful. You killed that. Uh, yeah. And then I had the option of getting someone to come on the set with me yeah. and work with me every single day doing my hair. You then bleached my hair. We did that yes. super, super blonde, yes. long hair. Oh, that was oh, The fire. bleaching process was very nerve wracking because I went very slow. It was the first time you were coloring my hair. It was hair. the very first time I had ever colored hair and I was nervous. So I, I went very slow. I had faith in him. I was like, it doesn't matter. That's one thing I will say. I've yeah. never been afraid of like trying crazy things with my hair. No. I just genuinely feel like it'll grow back. And also we have a personality like her. I mean, she was trying to cultivate a whole other thing going on here. What do you mean? Me and my um, my career. Oh. Like yes. cultivate, you know. The superstar yeah. that he is today. I'm not gonna front from the day I met Ray. Not the moment, no. but the same evening. <laughs> Late, later later that on that same evening. evening. <laughs> later that same evening, I just saw something so special in him. Um, I just thought he was like a beautiful, dope person. He was young. Aww. He was very ambitious and very focused. And at the same time, just a good soul. Fun, fun loving, um, easy to get along with. And I was like, yo, you could be huge yeah, someday. Today is that Look day. At me. No, seriously though, like <laughs> Ray does major people's hair and he's considered one of the top celebrity hairstylist in the business and I just feel so grateful that uh, I was I was one of the first to put this one on and yes, it's been awesome definitely. since then we clicked super fast though Quick. we like also we were are both inseparable November baby no no we're not November we're both Scorpio, Scorpio babies. babies I'm the end of October he's the beginning of November November 12th in the house ew, ew. okay so we got along super well mm -hmm. why do we just we would laugh. We, we laugh, laugh at the same about, things. Yeah, and and also we took a lot of risks together. Mm -hmm. Everything we did, we were like, okay, well, let's just try it. Let's see, taking a stab in the dark together. Do, you have someone. Do we you can... say the truth about the makeup artists? Um. Well, I mean, at this point, what are they gonna do? Take their money back? Yeah, that was so many years ago. <laughs> so here's the thing. Secret. I cannot do my own hair, so that wasn't even an option. But when I was working on X Factor, the <laughs> negotiations were this, that I would come to set every day, hair and makeup ready. They would pay for hair and makeup, but they would pay me to then pay my hair and makeup artist. This was my hairstylist. <laughs> this was the makeup artist. <laughs> and I called myself Myla. No, you gotta explain it, go. So, we would show up to set and they would be like, oh my God, you know, so happy you made it. We'd be, maybe, maybe we'd be two minutes late. We would use the makeup artist as the reason, right? The makeup artist that didn't really exist. She didn't exist. It we, was in our We head. did have a makeup artist that we loved. Yes. That was a celebrity makeup artist yes. named Myla Morales, who's love amazing, her. we love, love Myla. So, I would pretty much act like my makeup was done by Myla. It was amazing, I loved it. And we would be like, oh my gosh, love the eyeshadow that Myla used today. Other people on the set would come up to me and yeah. be like, who what? does your makeup? Yeah. What, what is that? I'd be like, I don't know, I need to ask Myla. <laughs> I'm like, Myla. That was the best. Okay? I'd be like, Ray, what color did Myla use today? I didn't actually see it. She, she packed up too quick. We had this thing going forever, so they would pay me a nice penny Cute. for, for us. A, a makeup artist that they thought was doing my makeup, but I was just pocketing the money and doing it myself. Oh, the hustles of You were paying the, the makeup artist though, because you are a makeup The makeup artist. artist, this is true. And so that's kind of how I ended up doing my makeup on The Real as well. Yes. Yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Coming full circle as a makeup artist. Oh, Isn't that crazy? This is crazy. We would lie, Ray would come to my apartment, do my hair, yeah. and I would do my makeup at the same time, which is what we do anyway. Every day. 
Every day Ray does hair, we work well together, I do my makeup, and then we head to the, to the set. It works so well because she's small. Mm. She's small and I'm tall. Yeah. So she doesn't have to sit. I can stand behind her and, and do I her stand hair. too and I walk around and you just follow me. Yeah, it works perfectly. <laughs> How long ago was that? Eight years. Has to be more. That was my 27th birthday. No, that's right, that's eight years. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That is eight years ago. Exactly. Eight is the infinity yeah. year. That's pretty amazing. Ooh, so we've been, infinity this year. Is, we need to celebrate that. That means this birthday, we gotta do something, something special. Crazy. Mm. We do. Think. Let us know in the comments what you think we should do to celebrate our eight year anniversary this oh year. Eight year anniversary. I know. Aww. It's Let us know, tell us below. We love you guys. We hope that you enjoyed this amazing storytelling time between me and Ray and how we became best friends. Let me know how you became best friends with your bestie in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.